Hello and welcome back to EU4 and yes, let's let's go. In the last episode, we took Venice as a vassal. He hates us. Bohemia is still a junior partner under Russia. I might make that go away, but we'll see. I might just also not do that. Oops. Um, now, how is the aggressive expansion looking? Oh, right. Some of the nations here really do not like me. <coughs> now, Bohemia doesn't matter because they are in a personal union under Russia, which means if Russia doesn't want to attack me, Bohemia can't do that um, on their own because they are basically... A personal union basically means that Russia owns the both uh, thrones. So basically, the king of Bohemia is the king of... Uh, is the one that is king of Russia. So if the nation of Russia doesn't hate me, then they won't attack me. Even though the same person is ruling Bohemia. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, but uh, other than from the how the game mechanics works. It is a bit of a limitation to how it's made, but mm, it, it's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, <clears throat> not sure if any of these estates, like these factories that he's building, is going to get done. I don't think so. I think the one in Louisiana is not going to finish. Which is too bad, but it is what it is. True sanded. What's this? It is. Oh, okay. Gains a bunch of money. That is really nice. Have I called this? Not really. Not yet soon though there we go that's a core charter company is it yes it's Nagoya can I can I no it's not possible I need to um... Uh, we'll wait with that one. And let's see if we can. Mantua gains one base manpower and I get 5k manpower. Now this goes over the cap, right? Yeah, because it's an event. Uh, sure. Let's make stability more expensive. Why feeling threatened? Oh, oh right, right. That's ha that has a big impact. Right. I need to improve upon that. I think they change when you get to 100. I think. They also might not. Uh, come on. Go friendly or neutral or anything but threatened. Please. If I set my 
mind to friendly. He should be more inclined to set themselves to friendly if I have set myself as friendly. Uh, yes, allow them to reenact. Maintain. Uh, is there really no way of... I could ally. Yeah, let's ally. I think that should be a hefty reason to accept. Yes, it is. Since allied is basically the same as friendly. Um, reformed Tertio Gustavanian Infantry. <laughs> and then we can just toss him away because he's never going to give us anything else I think we can try yeah let, let's see if we can get like one more yeah we could if if we paid extra money yeah if we paid extra money we could actually like squeeze one more out of him Which is worth it uh, to do before we annex Va uh, Naples, because then our diplomatic reputation is going to plummet. Yeah. Let's suck out as many possible provinces as we can. This way we have more provinces to build shipyards in, which is good. And then we just... abandon this alliance because we don't want it or need it anymore uh, can I buy from you now yes I can so follow uh, wow wow you're expensive to please. Okay, uh, let's see if we can increase our odds a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to take the stab hit. Not going to lose a bunch of money. Or gain money for Republican tradition at this point. That's not worth it. Let's see. One more month. Might tip the opinion over to four. No. No. Okay. There we go. That means we actually don't have to spend as much money. But basically, yeah, we have five ducats left after this. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's just take a look. Uh, yeah, okay, it's a gold province. It's coastal center of trade and it has buildings it's seven development yeah okay it's it's worth getting that wow um is there anything anyone else i want to try to get 
stuff from. Now we don't have any money, but that is going to grow back somewhat quickish. Uh, thanks to our really good income, to be honest. Uh, let's do that. Uh, we need to upgrade our ships. The next month we have integrated Naples. Boom! Integration. Yes, let's see. Consolidate our ships to make sure we have ships going and where they where they are going because having a bunch of ships which like yeah sure that's good but we want to know where the where they are like running around and doing stuff as well uh three over there that's five we now have four thirty eight thirty okay that's good enough Let's toss all of the cavalry away. Because we don't want them at all. Now let's. Oops. Let's take a look. Eight. Four. Okay, so we remove two of these. And then. Uh, we have. Uh, 24. Here we go. Upgrade our ships. Uh, administrative efficiency. Getting administrative efficiency way is way better than getting uh, absolute government. Uh, the thing is uh, with us, as we are right now, is that we are a republic, which mean, means that we have a maximum absolutism of 35, which is just so bad, there's no point in actually going for absolutism, basically. Uh, not as it is right now. We might do it later on, but for now, we don't really benefit from focusing on it in any way, so I'm not going to. Now, what we should do is give out... I'm going to... Oh, the question is, how do we do this? Getting Umbria would be really good because that would cover like Roma and other stuff but I think I think setting up setting this one up to be is the best option now let's take a look over here and see if there's anything we want to give to the nobility first Uh, is there anything that is uh, Calabria, sure, and Salerno, Lusania, Paris, Salento, Cosenza, no. that's not Anything we want to do, and then a land goes to the clergy, and uh, but let's see, it goes to the clergy as well, and then the rest I think will have to just go down over time on their own. Okay, we are maxed out again. 
I probably need to um, I probably need to uh, take an admin tech or something like admin idea something like that like probably innovative or economic I don't think I'm going to go religious or expansion um, might take diplomatic ideas maritime no espionage no exploration I feel there's no point really uh, so really it's diplomatic or influence And when it comes to military, I'm not sure. Defensive, maybe? I mean, I, what I could do is take innovative and quality and get the plus 20. Uh, where is it? The infantry combat ability plus 20%. Uh, I could do that. Uh, it would also benefit bit us a bit when it comes to um, ships uh, ship durability plus five percent would not be bad and morale of navies is basically what you need that's all you need when it comes to naval uh, battles more or less you do need more but that's most of the things you need when it comes to naval and other than that like we have three slots so what we could do is take innovative diplomatic and then quality or dip innovative quality and diplomatic or something like that i'm not sure we'll see depends on how how long i decide to keep this uh, playthrough going because I might decide that uh, I rather just do a new one or, or do something else in general. One thing you do need to do when it comes to playing as Italy and that is upgrade all your forts. That is super important. Upgrade all of your forts. You have a lot of money, hopefully. And you don't have that much. And you have a good amount of choke points around. Um, it's not like France that is just open. You have the Alps. You have Italy itself, which is very narrow. So you can get away with like one or two to actually block off the southern part completely. So yeah. Upgrades upgrade your forts. Like that is super important. Because if you don't upgrade your forts, they will fall very quickly later on. At some point it is going to go super quick if your forts aren't upgraded. And if you upgrade them as early as possible, that means that anyone attacking you is going to have a hard time sieging. It's going to take forever for them to siege unless they breach the walls, which is going to cost them military power. Which they might do, but most likely the AI won't do it um, unless they are trying to rush um, or they feel like the siege uh, is possible, but it's going to take way too long. However, if it's going to take super long, but they feel threatened, uh, they might that, that, that's the thing you never really know when they are going to do it but most of the time they probably won't do it probably hopefully they won't but 
Maybe they do will. You you never really know, sadly. Let's see what it's up to 32 at this point. I'm going to have to upgrade my front a bit. I usually never go more than four uh, in cavalry because unless you have a lot of modifiers for your cavalry, you're probably never going to need it. What we are going to do, however, is um, attack uh, Provence because, yeah, we want that land. Now, France could attack at any moment if he so decided to. And the thing is, I want to use France when it comes to. Um, like other wars like like spain bad yeah this is basically just sit and wait for a claim on provence uh roma is protestant that is a lot of money saved through an event. Because uh, Roma takes forever to... Um... And yes, we are going to piss off the burgers and get free base production. They won't be happy, but on the other hand, I don't care either. Uh, yes, let's do this. Let's um, bring that up to 40 and let's see if we can get some, uh, yeah that's not good enough, uh, let's see if we can get some more out of our nobility, we could give that away, we can give this one away. Uh, Folka yeah, yeah, sure. Let's give it. Let's give that one away as well. I need five percent more. Like five more percent. Uh, what I could do probably is like do this. Yeah, that's going to be 5%. 75. And let's demand 150. Here's the thing. Baden Wurstberg. Wurstberg is over here. Baden is over here. I could... Maybe... No, I probably can't. Can I force you out of this by doing break alliance with Provence? No. Wurzburg. Can I force you? Ooh, almost. It's close. Very close. Whatever, I'll, uh, I will win anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, uh, let's see, you and you. Always check your trading fleet. Always, always check to see how much can you upgrade. If you can upgrade, upgrade them. 
make sure that during war that you have them to be in a friendly port especially if you don't uh, if you're not guaranteed to have uh, naval superiority at all times and uh, it's also very useful because if they during war go and sit in a port it means you can upgrade them during the war which means that once the war is over you will actually earn more than you did before even if you lose t or, or rather regardless if you lo win or lose you will earn more uh, income based on how much you earned from the uh, fleet unless you lose a lot of important provinces which means but then uh, then again then you will just earn so much less that any argument is basically rendered moot at that point um There we go. Let's go and sit over here. Let's sit down over there. You can go to Genoa. Uh, Savoy, could you please go here? If uh, if the AI refuses to move, then go into the subjects tab. Uh, you can uh, press F3 uh, and then change the like the should I say the stance basically what you want them to focus on. Right, the focus, it's called focus. Um, set it to passive, that means they will go back to... They will drop whatever they're doing and go back to their own territory and be pass passive. Like they, they will simply stay in their own territory and avoid engagements elsewhere. So they will sit at home and doing nothing if you have it on passive. Which you might want to do depending on the situation. But in this case we want to toggle it so they become passive let the day pass by one or two or let the day pass at least and then say okay go and siege that means they will drop the siege there because they are not needed and they then they will go and siege something else which is a very handy thing to do to force um however be careful if if you're not sure if an ally in the war will gain the control if your vassal leaves don't make your vassal leave it just sit there and make it so your vassal is protected so the vassal that has the control keeps the control so the vassal gives you control once <laughs> The siege is done, basically. A bit convoluted uh, and poorly explained, but um, yeah. Are you gearing up for war, France? You might be. Now, France uh, can't be gearing up uh, for a war against me because we are allied. We can't attack me. That's not possible. That or he just made a new troop. Or remade troops because he lost troops. I don't know. Something happened at least. Whatever. Let's see here what we can do. Uh, Italian vassal. I could vassalize Baden, but I don't think I should. It's 24 aggressive expansion. I don't think I should do that.
Or maybe I should. Maybe I should. Yeah. Maybe I actually should do that. Now, Wurzburg, I don't care about. Uh, so you can just annul all your alliances. And that is going to be fine. But, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think um, this is going to be um, me vassalizing them. And annexing them. Wow. Italy strong. Uh, or rather me being a bit lucky with uh, stuff over here. Uh, yeah, Lithuania doesn't look that well off, to be honest. Uh, yeah, no, they don't. I could ally the Ottomans, but should I? Maybe I should. Maybe I should be like really nasty and ally them because I can. Drop the alliance with Austria. Huh. That's interesting. That's actually really interesting. Uh, we have two absolutism. Wow. Ten. Um. Yeah. Um. Now the question is, how's our aggressive expansion? Twenty-four, twenty-six, forty-eight, forty-four, seven. Uh, it doesn't look that good. Um. Yeah, it's uh, it's high. It's overall high on everybody. I think we should sit on this a bit. Not forever, but at least a little bit. Uh, because, yeah, that, that's, that's a tad high. Uh, slightly high, I would say it is. Not too high. Um, I think the one we had the most with was like 48, was it? Yeah, 48. 61 with Switzerland. Uh, but yeah, I... Oh, Alsace has 55. Yeah, but I could only be uh, coalitioned by like Alsace and Switzerland, which and Württemberg and the Palatinate and Ulm but yeah if Ulm is in here then we s we have lost we we screwed or maybe not yeah I, d I don't think there's going to be a coalition or any problem to be honest We have been um, improving relations very efficiently, so I'm not concerned. Yeah, and at this point, Ulm is at 45. We, we, we lower, we're, what is it? Yeah, 4.5 every year, so it's going to go down fairly quickly. Not super quickly, but fairly quickly. Um, Cost. 
Congolese separatists. That's not good. They could go over to me. Or my vassal or something. Marehan actually being this big is insane. They usually die. The Maldives got popped out. Now, I can't attack the, Ma uh, the Maldives because of... Um, How this work now if i could buy i just don't have enough money let's see if we can get <coughs> money good because if i could uh, buy salava uh what is it salavata over here i could actually Fabricate a claim on Maldives, which would be great if I could do. And we really, really do want as much. Uh, okay, so Provence might pop out again. Uh, the thing when that happens is that if Provence gets spat out, we won't have a truce with them. But if we have a claim on Vivare, then we can attack Provence when they gets popped out. When they spawn as a nation, we can actually attack them. Now, what we should do is... Oh, he's going to defend. He's going to defend, but he, he failed. Okay, so he won't get spat out. That's too bad. Now, you're at war with uh, Luango and Shokwe. Okay. Uh, I should probably annex my vassal Savoy at this point. Probably. Yes, I'm going to reject the reforms. And buy it away. I'm just going to print more money to get that inflation to go away. No, wait, that's not how it works. It's just, it's the exact opposite. Or more or less the opposite. Now, is there anything we can do to... Reform progress, <clears throat> probably one of the most important things to get uh, when it comes to republics, because it's more or less the only way to get as far as possible. Uh, let's spend s some money to increase our opinion or their opinion of us. Yeah, now we basically don't have to spend a massive amount, just 916. And there we go, we have it. Build spy networks. Found trade uh, Indian trade company. Yes, we get a bit of money, and most of all, we get one more merchant, 
and that is going to be used in Champagne to push a lot of money to Genoa. Seems like we need to have some boats patrolling around here. It seems we actually need boats to keep the pirates at bay, which is Ottomans and Morocco. I'm not surprised it's those two, to be honest. What do we need? We need 35. Okay, Savoy gave us some money. That's interesting. Uh, Okitan, yes. Uh, yes, I'm going to take the money. Yes, I'm going to take the monarch power. Spend some of it as well. Here's sending the troops gives us minus 25 government reform progress. That's a lot. Just give Provence five years of separatism. That's 10 years, uh, like 10 unrest. It's. What it was it? What is it? Is it? No, it's not five, it's just, like, we, we don't... We don't need to, like, be careful when it comes to unrest, because... We basically don't have any. We have a tiny bit because of... The burgers being... Disloyal, but that's it. Like... Uh, here, let's. Ba -da 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 -da. Uh -huh. Wow, I have gone way, 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 way over because I'm a uh... yeah. Um, uh, I'm being so immersed, uh, immersed in the game that I have no idea what time it is and how much time has passed, uh, which is good when it comes to like having fun, uh, bad when it comes to making YouTube videos, because yeah. Well, let's just end it here. We uh, a bit of a recap, just see where we are, how things look. Uh, as it is right now, we are Italy. We have basically taken all of Italy. We have to fight Spain, which I think I'm going to do fairly soon. Not sure how soon, but fairly soon. I should probably fix my attitude with Ottomans, because having them friendly and allied would be good but yeah we have a war with Spain to do we have more wars with the papal state to do because he has three provinces in the mainland which we want and then he has some provinces down in Africa which I absolutely do not want him to have uh, it seems like uh, yeah, and um, then we need to like, then we need to uh, integrate our vassals and consolidate the realm into one. 
that's basically what we need to do and then we need to see where we go from there if we just say okay we think we did it we won or if we decide on something else to continue if like we have to beat the ottomans or we have to beat france and spain or well some something or we have to restore the roman empire which i don't think i'm going to do because that is a lot of pro provinces basically all more or less the majority of the ottomans whole the whole france a few bits and pieces of england all of iberia which means portugal and spain and um yeah no i i don't think i'm going to do that one but we are going to have to end this here because this is all this is 46 minutes long so yeah if you like long episodes there you go if you don't i'm sorry but with that thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one